Hello students and welcome to video number 2 for the topic Magnetism. A compass is an instrument used for navigation and orientation that shows direction relative to the geographic cardinal directions. Usually a diagram called a compass rose shows the direction north, south, east, and west on the compass face as abbreviated initials. In connection to magnetism, a compass is an instrument which is used to find the direction of a magnetic field. This works because the Earth itself has a magnetic field, which is similar to that of a bar magnet. The compass needle aligns with the Earth's magnetic field direction and points north to south. Now let's discuss Earth as a magnet. So, a compass needle does not point exactly to the geographic poles. It points on the magnetic poles. So let's discuss magnetic variation. So magnetic decli declination or magnetic variation is the angle on the horizontal plane between magnetic north and true north. So this angle varies depending on the position on the Earth's surface and changes over time. So the difference in the location of the Earth's magnetic and geologic poles is called magnetic variation. Now let's discuss magnetism. Magnetism is created by electron spins. So the electrons also rotates or spins around its own axis. So the spinning of electron produces a magnetic dipole. The direction of the electrons spins or spin determines the direction of magnetic field. If the same number of electrons in the atom spins in opposite direction, the electron spins will cancel out. So we have three terms in explaining magnetism. First, we have diamagnetic, where all electrons are paired. Ito yun, no? Paramagnetic, our electrons are unpaired at different direction. And ferromagnetic, where electrons are unpaired at the same direction. So what are the differences between these three substances? So diamagnetic substances are those substances which are feebly repelled by a magnet. For example, you have antimony, bismuth, copper, gold, silver, quartz, mercury, alcohol, water, hydrogen, air, argon. So when placed, in magnetic field, the lines of force tend to avoid the substance. Paramagnetic substances are those substances which are feebly attracted by a magnet. Example, we have aluminum, chromium, alkali, and alkaline earth metals, platinum, oxygen. So the lines of force prefer to pass through the substance rather than air. While ferromagnetic substances are those substances which are strongly attracted by a magnet. Example, you have iron, cobalt, nickel, gadolinium, dysprosium, and some other materials. So, in this diagram, so the lines of force tend to crowd in the specimen. So ferromagnets have stronger magnetic fields than paramagnets. The magnetic domains are regions in which all the atoms' magnetic fields line up pointing in the same direction. A magnet will lose its magnetic properties if the orderly arrangement of the domains is destroyed. Please watch the video number 3. Thank you for listening.